Okay, so I just found out that they have a Day of the Dead uh, series coming out. Um, what a lot of people don't know is there was this couple a while back. Uh, I don't think they're together anymore. They might still be. I have no clue. I didn't delve that far into it. But uh, they wrote and directed um, Day of the Dead 2 Contagium and uh, Creepshow 3, uh, which I own both of, and they're both horrible, uh, back in the early 2000s. Uh, Day of the Dead 2 Contagium has, like, zero to do with anything with uh, the original Day of the Dead, and Creepshow 3 also, nothing to tie it in with the other ones. Uh, I was scrolling here. <clears throat> Her name is Anna, Anna Clavel, and then you have James Glenn Doodleson, and I guess his brother, which is uh, another Doodleson. Uh, both of them, uh, Robert Franklin Doodleson. Uh, so the Doodleson brothers are the ones that own this. Uh, back in the early 2000s, they bought the rights to two specific George Romero franchises, uh, Creepshow and uh, Day of the Dead, specifically just Day of the Dead, which is weird. Uh, but like I said, they did Creepshow 3 and uh, Day of the Dead 2 Contagium. Nothing happened for a while until 2017. I guess they were running low on money and had to make Day of the Dead Bloodline. Uh, I was looking at their IMDB and there's a bunch of stuff in between. Like, Dude, Where's My Dog? Which looks horrid. Uh, in the Doghouse. Uh, apparently in 2009... Oh, they also did the Day of the Dead remake uh, with Vin Rames. Uh, mostly they do a lot of producing. Um... The husband and wife duo uh, wrote and directed Day of the Dead 2 and Creepshow 3. But later, Day of the Dead, the remake in 2008. Uh, they were going to do Creepshow Raw Insomnia, which was a short video uh, to bring back the Creepshow franchise. That was in 2009. Nothing happened of that. And then everything went silent. So in 2017, they released Day of the Dead Bloodline. Also does not have any ties to the original Romero flicks whatsoever. Um, and then, of course, they later would do the Creepshow TV series, which I have yet to watch. Uh, I do plan on watching it. These guys aren't the writers and directors of all this, but they're still, they still have hands, like a hand in what's going on and everything. But I just found out they did the, the new Day of the Dead is coming out this year. So while editing, I was looking at the posters and covers for each of these things, and I just happened to see the cover art for the new Day of the Dead series, and oh my god, there's a middle finger on it saying, fuck you to George Romero's classic. Cool. Wow. How inventive. I have not seen the trailer yet. I don't know why. Just keep banking off of these two Romero flicks. I mean, yeah, it could, it could see money. Uh, it's good that it took like 10 to 20 years later after Day of the Dead 2 Contagium and Creepshow 3 because those movies were fucking horrible. But I'm going to do a... I'm going to take a first look at the trailer for Day of the Dead 2021. Uh, I was reading a bunch of comments. It apparently has nothing to do, once again, with... The original Day of the Dead. Day of the Dead, uh, the original Romero flick, took place in the bunker down below uh, of this army base. It was supposed to be way longer and have a lot more than what it actually got. Romero just, with the company and everything, company and everything, did not have you know the time and money to get all that out there. Uh, supposedly there's more shots in the film that were never released. It would be great to see. And also, supposedly, George Romero's son is still trying to release the prequel reboot. So far, it's just titled Of the Living Dead. We'll see if that ever happens. Since these people are now on their second attempt to bring back the Day of the Dead franchise. Well, third, I guess, if you count the remake. Because they did the remake, then the Bloodline sequel and now a series so with Creepshow they had what Creepshow 3 
Creep Show Brawl, and now the series, and then Day of the Dead, they got Day of the Dead 2 Contagium, Day of the Dead Remake, Day of the Dead Bloodline, and now Day of the Dead the series. So, anyways, without further ado, I'm going to watch the Day of the Dead trailer. Really, still in sci-fi. Ads, lovely. What's the one thing that we all have in common? We all die until this morning. What's your emergency? Yeah, I need to report it. What the hell do I call this? Zombie apocalypse? I'm not saying zombie apocalypse. They'll hang up on me. Hello? Hello? Jesus Christ, ah! they're everywhere! Ah! Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit! Ah! They're eating our guests. What a waste of 50,000 bucks. Boys? Let's move. Hell yeah, Dad! Damn, I feel like Deadpool right now. Hey, everyone. What in the hell did you do to my peepaw? Kiss my saggy ass. What a fucking day. I'm done. Okay. So they're gonna make it a comedy fucking zombie show and call it an ode to George Romero's that was supposed to be Romero's like biggest flick he wanted to make it so fucking huge and it was there's no comedy in it at all i mean i get that these people aren't writing and directing this series and they're just producing it do you get the feel of george romero in any of this I'm trying to think which which of the dead movies i i own all of them which one was a comedy? Huh. The Sean... Oh, wait, that wasn't him. Oh. Uh, well, there were some funny moments in Land of the Dead, I, I guess. You know, what'd you do to my people? Yeah, that was in that. That was in the original one. Aggravating. But these people are just fucking constantly banking off of Romero's flicks. Even the the shitty, the, the very shitty Day of the Dead 2, Contagium, whatever, fucking movie did not go comedy. The remake had some comedy. Was, was agitating. I grew up on the Romero Flex. Take me back to Creature 3, which also tried to be funny. I didn't even laugh at this trailer. It's not funny. It's unoriginal. It didn't... Okay, so... I'm going to try to... David Ted 2 Contagion, which I've seen it uh, probably twice. Um, it's a horrible, low-budget movie. <sighs> with, with, uh, with really shitty story about... Uh, a rehab slash mental illness clinic and these people find this vial and they all get this telekinetic link to each other <laughs> definitely sounds like the original right it's also supposed to be before the zombie apocalypse so technically it's not really a sequel to day of the dead it was horrible then we had the remake with Ving Rhames it was also in the uh, Dawn of the Dead remake, which was good. Probably one of the better remakes, if you uh, include the uh, Tom Savini Night of the Living Dead in 1990. Uh, 
the remake to Day of the Dead was also not in the bunker, except for, uh, I mean, a little bit at the end there. They tried to make Bob into Bud, a vegetarian wimpy dude who has a crush on this girl and doesn't eat people because he was a vegetarian in real life, so as a zombie, he's smarter and doesn't eat people? It's actually aggravating watching, I mean, it's one thing to remake something. Why is it even called Dawn of the Dead, or Day of the Dead? Why is it even called that anymore? Like, just make an original thing. It literally has nothing to do, the remake barely, barely had anything to do with the original concept. The Contagium sequel had nothing to do with the concept. Bloodline had nothing to do with the concept of the original Dawn or Day of the Dead. I'm sorry, it's just... It's like with Night of the Living Dead, how Romero doesn't have the rights because they changed the title and there was no trademark, so it's in public domain and everyone has a Night of the Living Dead movie and could do whatever they want with Night of the Living Dead. Only this is an actual indie production company who over the past 10 to 20 years decided let's bring this back because we need the money. It's just agitating to me. I don't know why it's getting me so worked out, but it is, and I don't know. Oh, my God. None of what they did before was comedy, but this trailer full-on looks like it's going to be a fucking comedy zombie series. It's like Take the Walking Dead, but add it and make it comedy. And none of Romero's flicks were comedy at all. I mean, there was some comedy things here and there, but it wasn't like... This looks legit full-on comedy. <clears throat> I don't like it. At all. Anyways, that's my opinion. That was my first viewing of the Day of the Dead series. I heard mixed things on the Creep Show series... I do want to watch it. The only reason I haven't really fully watched it is because I know it's these same people, the uh, Doodleson brothers, I guess, Anna or Anna Clavel or whatever, the wife of the one Doodleson. <laughs> the one Doodleson. I guess she's either divorced him. I don't know. I didn't go into backstory. If maybe I'll make a more in-depth video. I don't know why I would. I don't fucking care. The Doodleson brothers are fucking everything up for these two Romero flicks. Just, please don't make Creepshow 4. And stop making Day of the Dead movies, too. 3 was enough. Stop making Day of the Dead stuff in general. Just call it something else. Make it original. Why do you have to fucking bank off of Romero's name? Whatever. I'm done. I'm over it. Not really. I, I don't even know if I want to watch these series, to be honest. I'm sure I'll come around to Creep Show, but this... I love zombie flicks and zombie shows, but... Can I just stop? Anyways, that was my input. Until next time, make sure to subscribe if you want to. If you don't want to and you think I'm an annoying fucking prick, cool. Have fun with whatever's going on in your life. I just wanted to do my own little opinion. Just, jeez, fucking, get on my fucking face, bro. All right, bye.